Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access Trader.com. Uh, weekend update show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Hope everybody had a good uh, week of trading. And hopefully, again, everybody's happy and healthy uh, and enjoying uh, their lives. Uh, if you are uh, brand new to the channel, guys, uh, thank you very much for spending you know, 10, 15 minutes uh, of your day. The only thing I ask is take a second. Uh, all it takes is one second. Show your appreciation. Uh, hit that like button. Subscribe share, and I will continue to do my best uh, to navigate you uh, through the market on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis. So let's talk about the market. So I was trying to figure out how to approach the weekend video, okay? Um, I This week, I probably got the most emails that I've probably gotten from complete random uh, people, whether it's on Twitter uh, or the YouTube followers and asking, you know, all these different questions about, well, how did you know? Right. Great call. Right. Great call. How did you know? I didn't know. Right. I didn't know. And it wasn't a great call. Uh, all it was, was experience watching the same movie over and over again over the past quarter of a century and understanding this, the dynamics of what happens when big levels are confirmed. And, you know, you saw it you know, day three, day four, day five, and people finally woke up to the idea that, hey, something was wrong with the market. And you woke up too late, right? You woke up too late because again, if you follow just in the last week, um, I, I I don't think I could have been more adamant in my conviction of what was going to happen if we lost the 50-day the moving average. Um, I must have said the word. I think some of you guys still have nightmares waking up in the middle of the night saying, well, 435 on the queues. What happens if if we lose 435 on the queues? And we we got our answer this week. You know, we we got our answer. Uh the queues finally lost the 435 level. And in four days we went from 435 uh all the way down, uh all the way down to 413. And this wasn't an accident. This is what happens when a big range or a big macro range get lost. The same thing uh, happened on the upside. We, we finally reclaimed back in January of 2023, the 50 day moving average. We went on an insane run. So why would the downside uh, be any different? And you know the reason why I, I bring this up and I, I appreciate uh, everybody, uh, you know, all you guys sending emails and asking questions, that, that's great. You know, I, I think if you're a brand new trader, um, you should do everything in your power to find somebody that is willing to share their experience. Uh, I'm not talking about someone that's you know trading a year more than you. Okay, um, it, back in 19 end of 1998, the start of 1999, um, I got a job at uh, Generic Trading, uh, which was Carlin Financial. Carlin Financial owned. Uh, generic trading that was bought out by the Royal Bank of Canada years later. Okay, um, I was in the right place in the right time, and I was one of the first. I would say probably the first fifteen people uh, in in generic. We were still uh, in in the Park Avenue, two twenty five Park Avenue. I believe that was the address. Then we moved down to temporary space in the South Street Seaport, and then we finally went to Midtown. Uh, 1270 Avenue, the Americas in the Radio City Music Hall building. Um, but I was in the right place at the right time. And I met at that point were my mentors, okay? Uh, Meyer Offman uh, and Ron Shear. Uh, Meyer Offman, uh, arguably one of the top three to five prop traders of all time, okay? That's not really a debate, okay? You can Google Meyer Offman. Uh, Ron Shear, he's the one who hired me. He was an options market maker on the Amex. Phenomenal trader, an absolutely phenomenal trader. And these were the guys that fortunately in my early development, I had the ability to sit with every single day for years. I, I literally, if I, if I leaned back, I could have touched Myers back of his head and knocked his yarmulke off. So it's it was so important that not even, you know, it was all about the 
picking of the brain, asking questions. How do you feel about this? Why do you believe the market will do this when it will? That was the foundation that kind of, I don't want to say molded me to the trader that I am today or the man that I am today, but it really helped out uh, understanding that experience was such a big deal. And unfortunately, uh, a lot of you guys, the only experience that you have is the ability to reach out to your favorite Twitter trader, your favorite TikTok trader, your favorite YouTube trader. And then they realize, you know, they're probably younger than you. Their experience is probably six months more than yours. And, you know, it's cool and all with the shiny, you know, the shiny day in the life of the traders and the cars and this, and I'm 12 years old and I made $30 million. That's great and all. Okay. But unless you are repeatedly in a rabid bull market, you're going to feel the effects of what happens when the market turns. And if you're not prepared, and boy, oh boy, we were prepared. Um, if you weren't prepared to see exactly what happens when technical damage occurs, well, right now you're sitting there and you're trying to figure out, well, how did I give back so much performance in one or two or three days? How could I possibly have seen this coming? Pretty much anybody, everybody that I've traded with, and I met some incredible traders throughout the years, uh, especially my years at Carl and the Generic and other places, right? Other prop places and now uh, where I am today, you know, everybody's sold this. That's the whole point. When you're trading, you know, 10, 15, 20, 25 years, you've seen this happen so many times, not even just on the downside, but the upside as well. So it's very, very important, guys, uh, when you are trying to make it in this business. Your first three years are very impressionable. If I sat down with, with you and just literally told you one plus one equals six, well, that's your foundation. One plus one equals six. And then after two, three years, you're going to finally realize you're not getting anywhere because the process of information that you got was wrong. Okay. It was wrong. And you were getting it from uh, traders that you looked up to a bit because again, they had the shiny, uh, cool video on YouTube about the day in the life of how I wake up and get a cup of coffee, make $600 million. And then you realize you wasted three years of your life. So experience matters. Finding a person that is going to, you know, navigate the early part of your career matters because if not, you're going to find yourself in a tremendous cross in the road in your career, only one or two or three years in. And you're going to realize that you're nowhere near uh, you know, you're nowhere near to having a career and, and that's an unfortunate part. So it's very, very important guys that you really try to find somebody that has been doing this for a very, very long time. Um, if you are so lucky enough, you'll get their ear. Um, you'll try to pick their brain and have them in your daily life. Because if you don't, you have a very, very, uh, tough time. Uh, Kenyon kind of segue uh, Kenyon is my business partner. Uh, what he's going to do, because again, I've, I've been getting so many emails throughout the week and I get it. I you know I get it. A lot of you guys just don't have, uh, you know, don't have the answers of what happened uh, this week with this technical breakdown. Uh, but he is uh, opening up uh, the webinar for a uh, you know, $47, uh, $47 kick the tires uh, type of scenario. Um, it's going to be in the link below. Guys, the most important part is you, you got to look long term. Okay. You got to long, long term. You're, you're spining yourself over and over again. You're, you're going outside, you know, you're going out of your way to put yourself in a position that you're trying to cut corners and not understanding the full nuances of this business that you're literally shooting yourself in the foot while you have an extension cord of information. And all you need to do again, the PS60 theory, it, it's, it's not an alert service. It's, it's not, it's it's a methodology via technical analysis, the same way you would practice, whether it's VWAP, Fibonacci, Bollinger Band, Pitchfork, and anything else under the sun. It's a methodology, but that's a methodology based on technical analysis. And like I, like I responded to one of the traders who emailed me over the weekend, it wasn't a great call. We just we just realized the air, how important that area was, and we just waited for it to break. So whether you took advantage of the downside action or you didn't, the price actually was going to play out whether you're in the trade or not. So it's very, very important to get your ducks in a row. What's done is done, right? What's done is done. If you uh, didn't, um, you know, if you didn't kind of uh, see the the train coming, uh, if you just didn't didn't care about the warning signs or eventually 
what happens when the market did confirm. There's nothing you can do, right? There really is nothing you do. You can't get your money. Maybe your position comes back. Maybe it doesn't. But the idea that the market is oversold is ridiculous, okay? It's absolutely ridiculous. Now, I said this day two after the break of the 50-day. I said this day four after the 50-day. This is now day five. Are we going to have some sort of reversal rally this week? Absolutely. Okay, absolutely. You know, you know the cues literally went from 435. You can make it, you can even make a case. We went from 442 that day to 413 in five days. So we're going to have some sort of relief rally this week. That's that's it. That's a given. Okay. We just don't know what day. But the but I I'll tell you this right now. We're not gonna get this relief rally on a gap. Okay. I've been saying this every single day. We need a big aggressive gap down. You know, NASDAQ down two percent, two and a half percent. And then from those levels, we need everybody to turn around and say, I just get me out. I don't care at what price, get me out. That's called capitulation. That's called throw the baby out with the bathwater. And then and only then, when when retail is completely out of the trade, that's when you can see starts stocks start uh, stabilizing, start going red to green. And that's when you can get this big relief rally. Is it going to be the bottom? Absolutely not. Okay, I, I give you my word. Even if we have a reversal rally at one point this week, NASDAQ up three, 400 points, it's not going to be the bottom. We saw this over and over and over again in 2022. We see four or five days of aggressive selling, one big rally, new traders get uh, excited. That's the bottom. They get long, right? They get long overnight. We spew over, come back again. Again, like I said, two, two videos ago, okay, we'll know when it's the bottom or we reclaim back the 50-day moving average. Then you can point and say that on the chart. Remember that day? That was the bottom. But yes, we're going to have some sort of relief rally uh, at some point this week. NASDAQ is probably going to reverse uh, probably 500 points uh, intraday. And I'm ready for that. Okay? I'm absolutely ready. But I also know that's only going to come on a big gap down wash and fold, right? Wash and fold. Uh, solvency will be uh, will be at stake for a lot of new traders because they keep on gap they keep on buying lower and buying lower and buying lower for this buy the dip I don't know, again three four five days into technical damage but eventually you're going to get this gap down uh, I I'm very ready for this reversal only for one day right I'm, I'm it's not going to be one of those overnight let's go long now that was the bottom uh, it's really day to day but if we get a gap up tomorrow if we get a gap up Monday um, we're still watching below Friday's channel so if you are uh, interested and you've been on defense for a long time and, and for all you guys uh, who've been sending me these emails throughout the week guys that's what we do in the live webinar I'm literally speaking broadcasting for six hours a day there's no surprises okay we know every level we know every level to be prepared for we, we, we know this because I went through the wars I went through the foxholes for 25 years and this is why this you know this is why last week has, was definitely one of the better trading weeks of the year because of the significance of what we lost. So if you are interested, guys, uh, Kenyon will put, I will post a discounted link. It's in the comments uh, in YouTube. I think on Twitter as well. And if you are interested, if you are truly interested, um, I think you'll be very, very uh, happy with the potential after you kick the tires uh, for the next uh, 30 days. So let's talk about it, right? Let's talk about it. Um, you know, we went through every scenario, every stock, the significance of losing the 50-day moving average. And now, again, if you didn't see the warning signs, it's over. You can't get back your money, right? You just can't. But what you can do is learn from it, right? So you don't make the same mistakes over and over again. Write this down. Tattoo it on your forehead, on your arm, on your back, on your tush, whatever floats your boat. Above the 50-day, bullish, risk on. Below the 50-day, technical damage, risk off. So we saw the 435 level get absolutely destroyed. And then go one by one. You know, look at what happened to every stock that lost the 50-day. And this is every stock we talked about every single day this week until they lost their technical damage. Arm went from 120, 120 losing the 50-day moving average. The damn thing is at 85 in three days, okay? Look at NVIDIA. Remember we talked about NVIDIA on Wednesday? Just go back to Wednesday's video. There's no video on Thursday. And we said, guys, look how close NVIDIA is to the 50-day. If we lose the 50-day moving average, this thing's going to get hit. All right? Look at NVIDIA. Absolutely destroyed. SMCI lost a massive 50-day range on Friday. was down 215 points. Okay, These are all pivots that all you needed to do was be prepared for. If this was your thing, if this float your boats, if you're a technology trader, 
These are names that you should have been prepared for. These things weren't accidents. They weren't just randomly, you know, randomly sold. They lost technical damage. And technical analysis is real. And if, if this last week hasn't proved to you the significance of technical analysis, nothing to do about me, has nothing to do about the PS60 theory. It has to do with bare bones technical analysis. If you don't believe the power of technical analysis yet, you're gonna have a very, very tough time navigating this market unless you're in a rabid bull market. Hopefully uh, for the majority of the public, the bulls get their act together, reclaim back the 50 day moving average and the last you know week or so could be just a faded memory, okay? But if that doesn't happen, refer back to what happened in 2022. We lost the 50 day moving average on the NASDAQ and we went down 34%. So it's very, very possible we could have an extended sell off for a number of weeks, maybe a number of months. You have to be prepared for it. And again, unless you are, uh, yeah, unless you are a two sided trader, we've been talking about this for, for years, unless you trade both of the mark, both sides of the market, the, the, the usage of the word cash is a position. It's a crutch. Okay. It's a crutch guys. Cash, no professional trader is sitting there on Monday and going, well, I'm not going to do anything unless the market goes up. It's, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, again, there's a huge difference between a person buying stocks in a rapid bull market versus a trader. And this week, unfortunately, really separated uh, the two. And hopefully uh, a lot of you guys took advantage of what we've been talking about all week. Uh, but if not, again, it's over. Okay, short memory, get back on the horse, the past, the past, we don't live there anymore. So the game plan uh, going into Monday, if we have a big gap up, right? If we get a big gap up, um, I don't believe we could get a gap and go after technical damage. I believe the game plan continues to be short into supply or below the previous uh, day's lows. So here's some names that are not overextended just yet. I'm not mentioning a name that means it's way overextended. So for example, uh, a name like Microsoft, right? A name like Microsoft that we talked about at 413 is overextended, right? It's overextended. A name, for example, like AMD that we've been talking about for weeks is overextended. A name, for example, like um, uh, like Arm, right? That's lost pretty much like 30% in the last four days is overextended. So now our job is to find names that are not overextended. But look at Google, right? Look at Google. Google, not overextended at all. It held the 20-day moving average. If we continue to see more selling and loses the 20-day moving average, this thing can get hit. NVIDIA is not oversold. It's not, okay? It's not oversold. It just, this is the first day it lost the 50-day moving average. If this thing confirms Friday's channels, there's room to 726 and 687. It's not overextended. You know, look at a name, for example. Let me give you guys some other names. Uh, let me give you guys a couple more names. Look at, for example, Eli Lilly, right? Look at Eli Lilly. This is the first close below the 50-day moving average and first close below this uh, rising 65-day support. If it loses 65-day support, there's more downside. Look at Meta, right? Meta is not overextended. This is the first close below the 50-day moving average. If Meta starts losing, right, starts losing the 100-day EMA, this thing's going to go lower as well. So there's a lot of value still left, okay? Uh, big earnings seasons obviously uh, kicks off the week. If you've been watching the broadcast for the last five days, you know, we've been, we've been killed. I mean, really, really hitting Tesla pretty well. Uh, Tesla, do big, beautiful breakdown from this 160.50 macro level, traded all the way down to all the way down to 146 in the regular session, traded down to 145.40s uh, pre-market. They're coming out with earnings on Tuesday. You got Meta coming out on Wednesday. And on Thursday, you have Microsoft, Intel, and Google. So again, crazy, really good action. I, I know I'm trying to be, I'm trying to trying to be sensitive because I, I I do know. A lot of traders got caught in this thing uh, to the downside because, again, whether they believe in technical analysis or believe that, again, it was just a normal uh, occurrence. So I, I feel what you're going through because a lot of us have gone through the same thing uh, just like everybody else. But the point is there were a lot of warning signs. Uh, there was experienced traders all around telling you, hey, this is kind of a big deal. You should watch out for it. But more important, guys, short memory, learn from it and hope to God your, your career uh, extends. Guys, God bless everybody. If you are taking advantage uh, of uh, the PS60, kick the tire, 
uh, 30-day trial. I will see you guys on Monday. We got a lot of work to do. I got a deep, uh, deep program, you guys, but that's a good thing. Uh, we'll knock down your, uh, your current foundation, start building you guys back up. Guys, God bless everybody. Have a great weekend, and with God's help, I will see you all on Monday. Take care.